Welcome to another Phys Ed resource video. This video is going to be drawing your attention to a really great resource for teachers and coaches. America's ESPN has a TV show that's been running for a few years now called Sports Science. Now it's kind of a cross between Mythbusters and Sports Tonight and it looks at the science behind a wide range of sports and the top level athletes in those sports. Now to find these segments, basically a simple search of ESPN Sports Science will bring you to the ESPN website and you'll come across a huge catalogue of segments from those episodes. Now, no matter what it is you're actually trying to teach your students in the theory setting, whether it be biomechanical principles, whether you're trying to break down fundamental motor skills or sports specific skills, whether you're trying to highlight particular fitness components and how they contribute to sports performance, or if you're looking at the different types of injuries that occur in different types of sports, chances are that that topic you've actually trying to teach your students has been actually covered by the sports science crew so what I'll actually do, probably the easiest way to show you how good these segments are is just to let you have a look at the footage so here's some snippets that I've taken from the website of the velocity squared Divided by the radius, Spike's moment of inertia, the term for its resistance to rotation, is roughly three times greater around a front flip's x-axis than around a barrel roll's y-axis, which can hit an unprotected head with over 4,000 pounds of force. Of over 155 square falls, take this throw of almost 140 feet with his momentum carrying him away from his target. Jamie generates torque by jumping and twisting his torso. That's almost twice as fast as Sean White launches his legendary twisting double cork. Bud Webb. He's only 5'7", but stood tall in 1986. In this reverse two-hander, Webb gets four feet of elevation. That's a vertical leap over 70% of his height. To put Webb's extraordinary ball kicker. And as he launches, his torso unwinds, unleashing torque that spins him to... Reaching every year, over 100,000 concussions occur in all levels of football. And 60% of these are from head-to-head -head collisions. Ted, on average, experiences almost 100 Gs of force. And collisions on special teams can result in forces of up to 190. Both heads combined is 20 miles per hour, with the struck player's head decelerating 14 miles per hour. According to studies done by sports science, Bastion the head with a sledgehammer. Sport science on ESPN. Put this in perspective. From over 60 feet away, a 90 mile an hour fastball crosses home plate in less than 44 hundredths of a second. A lacrosse ball fired at 105 miles an hour. One thing all teachers will agree on is if you haven't got the student's attention, then you haven't got a hope in actually teaching them what you're trying to cover. So using these types of segments from the ESPN Sports Science Catalogue, I've got no doubt you'll be able to grab the attention of your students through the super slow-mo footage and the high quality animations that they use in their segments. I've got no doubt you'll be able to grab your students' attention and hopefully that's half the battle won. This has been another Phys Editor resource video. For more minor game and resource ideas, head to the physeditor.com.au website or subscribe to the YouTube channel for a heads up on when other videos are coming out. Thanks, guys.